Hey there, everyone. Meteorologist Danielle Noyce here. This is your Weekend Insights. Let's get right to it. Some big-time important games tonight. Classic fall weather for Friday night lights. Dry, a little breezy. That will create a chill to the air. Feels like temperatures will be running in the upper 30s. The wind won't be a huge issue, but there may still be some gusts that top out near 20 miles per hour, particularly in eastern New England. So just keep that in the back of your mind for those that may be playing in the games this evening. Otherwise, the wind does stay a little bit active through the course of the weekend. Let me play things through. 10 to 20 mile per hour gusts through this evening will ease somewhat tonight, but they kick back up tomorrow for our Saturday, 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts kind of region wide. So the elevated and critical fire weather conditions remain. That wind will ease up somewhat again Saturday night into Sunday, especially through the interior. I do still think some gusts 10 to 20 miles per hour, particularly at the coastline on Sunday, more out of the north northwest will take hold. So it's breezy. It's not a damaging wind, but there will still be a wind around this weekend, the strongest during the day on Saturday. Precipitation totals over the last 24 hours with that storm exiting the mid-Atlantic coast. We've had some areas of rain from the mid-Atlantic stretching back up to the Great Lakes with some of the highest rainfall totals through Virginia, eastern Virginia, and down through North Carolina. A lot of the rest of the country, no precipitation over the last 24 hours, although the west coast is measuring some rain and snow with elevation with a very active jet stream and pattern out over the west coast that will remain in place. So what does that mean across the country? That storm, again, off the coastline of the Carolinas now, will continue to kind of pinwheel back around that ocean storm that's near Nova Scotia, strengthening and backing up towards us, but not close enough to bring more than clouds and a couple of showers in far eastern Maine. Next cold front coming in to the central United States Saturday into Sunday will spark some areas of severe weather down across Texas during the day on Sunday. And then another storm coming into the Pacific Northwest will spread rain and elevation snow into the Pacific Northwest Saturday night into Sunday. So Sunday may be a pretty active day with some scattered storms. The area is shaded in yellow from San Angelo, Texas, back up to Wichita Falls over towards Midland. So notice generally along and to the west of Dallas and Austin, although you are still in a slight risk where you may see a few isolated stronger storms. The localized flooding threat on Sunday may extend a little farther north from Lubbock, Texas, and then back in to central Oklahoma with some locally heavy rainfall. So we may be hearing about that. For us here at home, we talked about it earlier this week, still wanna show you that storm system, that kind of pinwheel here, they're actually gonna end up combining off to our east. But what does it mean for us? This weekend, we may get some lingering clouds at the coast tomorrow morning. Those depart. The weekend's looking great for outdoor plans, for any yard work you have planned. A lot of sunshine on both Saturday. Sunday, we get some increasing clouds that come in from the west, dry both weekend days. Monday, a cold front comes in. There will be some showers with it, but like so many times this fall, it's just not a ton of moisture and it's a quick moving cold front. So the highest chance of a quick shower will be across western central New England. It's not going to amount to a whole lot, maybe a few hundredths or as much as a few tenths in western New England during the day on Monday as it sweeps through. Tuesday, a quiet day, new area of high pressure building in ahead of this next storm system. And that one may bring a little more substantial rain for us heading into the end of next week. So we'll keep you posted on that. In the meantime, I do want to talk about Tropical Storm Sarah sitting off the coastline of the central United States and the Caribbean. Has 40 to 50 mile per hour winds. Now Sarah is going to continue to make westward progress here. So portions of northern Honduras, uh, Belize, Nicaragua, Guatemala, stretching back up into the Yucatan are going to have real heavy rain in the coming days. It's a slow moving system. It will remain a tropical storm over the next couple. And then as it continues to move inland, will uh, decrease in terms of wind speed as it interacts with land, but really heavy rainfall will continue. So localized flooding, mudslides, that's a big concern. And if you remember a few days ago, the track was a little bit farther off to the uh, north. And that would have been a totally different scenario if the storm stayed over the ocean or even cut just east of the Yucatan. So this is not good news for those areas, but it is good news in terms of a Florida threat and emerging back over the Gulf. We'll keep you posted, of course, on Sarah in the days to come. What about our local temperatures for the weekend? 55 to 60. Not bad for November, actually slightly above average. Yes, with that bit of an active breeze, we'll feel cooler, running in the mid to upper 40s in terms of a wind chill. And then Saturday night, 20s inland, 30s for many of us, few lingering clouds in far northern New England. Sunday, lots of sunshine. Highs go 55 to 60 again in much of central southern New England. 40s in the far north country, the wind a little bit lighter during the day on Sunday. Sunday night, 
The clouds increase will be in the 30s in many areas, a couple upper 20s on the map, mid 40s on Cape Cod with a lot of cloud cover in place. And then Monday, I think it's a blend of sun and clouds. I showed you that cold front. Maybe a passing shower comes in. We'll keep you posted, but it's not going to be that widespread or it's not going to ruin any outdoor plans. 50s for highs, 40s in the far north country with scattered clouds and a shower. Tuesday, running in the 50s, 40s to the north. So there's no big warm-ups. The temperatures will be fairly seasonable. And I do want to briefly mention, because Matt talked about it yesterday, we've been watching this cold build up in Siberia, now over Alaska. I want to show what happens as we head into next week. A little chunk of it comes down into portions of the West Coast, the uh, Northern Plains, into the Midwest, and it's some deep cold. Look at the pinks and whites and purples in here. This is towards the end of the month. So little pieces of this are likely to break off and it may mean a fairly chilly end to the week. And with this cold blasting in and some warmth down across the Gulf, that battle zone setting up with more storminess and like Matt had mentioned, a more volatile pattern as we head into the end of the month and perhaps into the beginning of December including some below normal temperatures for here in New England. So we'll keep an eye on that cold that's been building and little pieces of it going to be breaking off here in the weeks to come. Of course, you can stay on top of everything on our app. We have the 14-day, the hourly, our videos at the top. Don't forget the send to us tab. You take any pictures this weekend, really easy to send them to us. We'd love to see them. And the app, yes, it's free on the App Store and Google Play.